everyone, it's Maisie. Today I'm going to be unboxing the March Mystery Kit from Ellie Beth Designs UK. So for anyone who has ordered it and hasn't seen it yet, this is your warning to click away now. So as you can see there are two things inside the pretty pink envelope. This one is the stickers from Ellie Beth Designs UK and this one is an extra item from Little Dragon Jewellery. I'll open this one first. Oh! I saw these on Fiona's Instagram actually. They're so cute! I've even ordered myself one with a pink roof. They're paper clips for your planner. I just went to get my Erin Condren to show you what they look like. So if we go to say June for example, you clip them on to the top of your pages. I clip them onto quite a few pages but you can clip them onto as many as you like, it's your complete personal preference. And then when you close your planner you can still see them. So it's a really cute addition to your planner because they stick out the top. So the first thing I can see is a decorative sampler sheet on glossy vinyl. Immediately you can see that the theme is hedgehogs, pink, a sort of woodland-esque sort of theme. So on this sampler you've got some flowers, leaves, toadstools and of course the hedgehogs. It's really cute. This next sheet has some full box checklists and some half boxes on it, still sticking with the pink woodland hedgehog theme. As far as I'm aware this is the first kit that has seven checklists. I believe that before there were six full box checklists and nine half boxes but Rachel has got rid of two of the half boxes and replaced it with one big checklist which means that you've got seven checklists and seven half boxes which for my way of planning is so much more convenient. I really love the colour scheme of this kit. I really love the greens and the pinks. So pretty. This next sheet is full of washi strips. They're all different thicknesses which is really good if you're going to do a no white space spread in your planner because you can fill any size gap with them. I don't know if you can see that but up this end you've got some really thin washi and up this end you've got quite a thick bit of washi and that's the same for all of these patterns. I really like the washi strips, I find them really useful. This next sheet is the full length washi strips and oh my goodness, I love the zigzag ones. In all of Rachel's kits, the zigzag ones are definitely my favourite, but this is just adorable. The toadstools are so cute. That's my favourite part about this kit so far. You've also got some really thin washi which I use for sectioning off the weekend and the sidebar in my planner. I also used it to go underneath the daily boxes last week and I really liked using it that way too. And then you've got your more traditional washi strips here, but of course in coordinating patterns with the kit. This is a functional sheet, so you've got headers, so you've got seven to-do headers, seven today headers, seven little things headers, and a this week, next week, to buy, to clean, to go, remember, and personal. Then you've got one of Rachel's famous weekend banners in the coordinating colours for the kit, some little dots, a few decorative stickers, your icons, page flags, 
and your half box checklists which say to buy, to go, to do, remember, to call and to clean. Finally, you've got your full decorative boxes. I put this in the middle row of my vertical Erin Condren and write the main activity of the day on it. So the thing that takes up the most time in the day. So for example, if I have college, I'll write down college and what course and stuff like that. Or if I've got work, I'll write work on it. So that's really cute. And there's eight, so I always put one in the thankful thought bit up in the top corner of your Erin Condren. Then you've got your flag checklists, which I'll be honest, I don't find myself reaching for as much as I do the full box checklists. I use a papermate flare to write in my Erin Condren and they shadow through the pages a bit, so I prefer to write on a sticker instead so they don't do that, but they are very pretty. And then finally you've got some more decorative stickers. And there we have it, that's the whole kit. I'm really impressed with this one, I especially love the colours and the theme, it's so pretty. My favourite part has to be these zigzags, for sure, but I can't say there's any part of this kit that I don't like. Yeah, really pretty. Thank you Rachel. And if you liked watching, I'd really appreciate a like or a comment, and maybe if you want to see more, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!